Hello everyone, this is Sandy with Sandy's Crafty Creations. Happy Halloween! Today is uh, October 31st, Halloween, and this is the mini album that I finished from the 13 Frights of Halloween for the 13th Fright. And I, as promised, I finished the pages and I want to showcase and show you in this video, a uh, quick video of what I did. Uh, to start off the cover, I uh, decided to decorate the cover. I used a lot of the ephemera and uh, die cuts, some foam tape to get the raised elements and some flowers, and some of the black and white baker's twine, some brads to decorate this up for the bat, and then I decorated the spine by wrapping twine through each page center fold to kind of secure it to give it extra security. If you can see it right here, there it's wrapped into that all the way around and then tied into a knot at the top. And then I let those hang down and tied little knots in them. And then I added this little tag here on the spine. So I'm going to um, zoom out just a little bit. Let me see if I'm going the right direction here. There we go. Let's see if that works. I also created the magnetic closure here with a chipboard piece and then I used Craftex which is a craft paper fabric. It's really really strong. It come I got mine in a roll by ordering it on Amazon. It's called Craftex, craft paper fabric in black. It comes in a 19 inch wide by one and a half yard roll. Uh, you can actually sew with this, glue. It is just really an awesome fabric. You can or paper fabric and you can make covers for your albums or journals. But I decided to use that as the um, closure on this book. I initially had thought about doing a belly band closure that would close in the center, but then I decided I wanted to be able to decorate the front. So I created this one that just flips open like this and I also used a uh, Tim Holtz Sizzix spider web embossing folder and I cut a slit here in the fold so that I could slide the piece all the way up and emboss the entire piece and I'll see if we can turn it so you can see black with spider webs so it has the embossed spider webs on that and so when you open it up this little paper bag album opens this way I did I don't think I showed you in the construction video but I folded these little paper bags, the little black ones, the same way as I did the big ones, and I attached them to the inner flaps of the paper bag pages. So I've got these little pockets in here, and also be sure to glue the bags together and the flaps. So I decorated this one up, have a haunting Halloween, it has a tag here, this flips open. This is where a pocket is made, so I have a tag that slips in there under the witch's legs. And I decorated each little flap, and I even added some brads sometime in some of this. Um, I added this piece here with the house that is attached so that you can lift out your photo mats, and those slide in into this uh, semi-pockets. The big bag makes a big tag pocket there. You flip that over and again as you see the flaps, if you glue your flaps and uh, edges down then you create pockets here in with your pages. This one here is a chipboard piece that I added on foam tape with a mat. Again you have a photo mat that comes out of this little pocket. This one slides out like that. Let's see if I need to zoom out some more make sure you're seeing it all. Okay. This one here, I added a flap in here with the cutout skeleton. I cut that out of the paper. Here's your another photo. I rounded the corners of all the photo mats so they're easier to slide in and out. And I created the tabs, used little Tim Holtz tiny attacher staples, and then some of the stickers are used to make the different, on the big pages, the labels. So I have jack-o'-lantern, creepy. This one is a double uh, photo mat 
I left this part where you can actually stick a photo here. Then we have this one. This is a, a photo mat that comes will come out. You can stick it in here in the little pocket. So the pocket here. I have a tab pocket that I created here on this page. This one also slides out. It kind of looks like an extra little page in there, but it actually slides out of the pocket. Another one here. A Wicked Witch photo mat. This one will slide out. This one has where it slides in from the uh, to the back. And then we slide out another tab here. This is lifts up so that you can add a photo underneath. And the jack-o'-lantern is attached just on the bottom so you can slide a photo there. Another tag, photo mat tag. This one, he slides out. You can put a picture in this frame and that just slides under the little glitter mustache and stands, stays there. Here's a tag. This one I did not glue. Put that back in there. I did not glue the uh, top of this pocket, this little bag. I made a short pocket so I have little tags that just stick into the top of it here at the top. Just like that. So they just kind of stick in there. A little further in so they don't fall out. This one, oops. This one here folds under, goes under this. This is a magnetic piece, so these just attach with a magnet, and then you can stick cards under there like that for photos. These are little tags that came in the set. I made, put them on cardstock, glued them all together, so that slides in that pocket. And again, under here is a photo mat that will slide under the, the banner. So lots of little places for photos. This is another photo mat that slides into the pocket. Here we have another. And under the spider web, this one comes out. So you just use your imagination, uh, create it creatively the way you want to. Slides out of each bag. And it's important to be sure to glue these together unless you want a short pocket. Glue each side together. And here's another photo mat and a photo will slide under there. Finished it off on the back with Happy Halloween October 31st. And on the back you see the closure piece and then I put a little tag down here where you can write the date, the year. And that's my uh, Halloween 2014 mini album, paper bag mini album. I hope you've enjoyed my 13 frights before Halloween, and I hope you have a frightfully scary fun day. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye.